Hey guys, meteorologist Doug Hetty. I want to update you on uh, this winter storm, which is going to be rolling in. First off, make sure you we're doing this on YouTube. We're kind of switching from Facebook lives and videos over toward YouTube lives and videos. So make sure you like this, subscribe, and hit the bell so that uh, you get notifications. You can also like and subscribe to my YouTube page, which is meteorologist Doug Hetty. All right, let's break this system down for you. Uh, first off, as we get closer to the system, we get more accurate data, so we can really pinpoint down, especially tomorrow, but uh, we're about 36 hours out now, so at least we got a pretty good idea of what is going to happen. Tonight's going to be fine. Most of tomorrow morning looks okay, but we'll start to get showers popping up as we go into tomorrow afternoon, especially most of us picking up rain by the time we head into tomorrow evening. 51 in the morning, 55 by noon, high temp right around 57 degrees but that arctic front drops in as we go into late afternoon and then into the overnight hours for us tomorrow night so here's midnight tomorrow night or early wednesday morning northern counties we're looking at snow all the pink here is freezing rain and sleet and then we have rain in our southern counties which continues as we go into the early morning hours on wednesday you can see our northern counties overtaken by snow and then really from Pittsburgh South, it is freezing rain and sleet. We're gonna hit a little bit of a lull. At this point in time, uh, the heaviest of the moisture will roll out, so we go to very light, freezing rain, sleet, and snow through the morning on Wednesday, and then by the afternoon, here comes the next batch, and this is mainly gonna be snow. Here's 6 p.m. on Wednesday. You can see the snow really starting to pick back up. Look at the temperatures. It's into the 20s. And then we have periods of moderate to heavy snow Wednesday night into Thursday morning at times. We could have accumulations of one to two inches per hour. So the heaviest snow will be Wednesday night. Now, on Thursday, we kind of switch over to just light snow, maybe light accumulations, but the heaviest of the accumulations will occur Wednesday night. All right, let's go ahead and look at the ice accumulations. The best chances for ice is going to occur tomorrow night. So Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. When I say ice, we're talking about freezing rain, a tenth upwards to a quarter of an inch. If we do get close to a quarter of an inch, that is gonna cause some issues on power lines and trees. But uh, uh, thankfully, we're not gonna have more ice than this. If you travel south, that's where the ice really gets pretty thick. All right, next graphic, this is sleet and snow. Sleet is the little ice pellets. If we get more sleet, our amounts are gonna be closer to that five inch range if we get more snow closer to that 10 inch range south of i-44 is going to have more sleet than north of interstate 44 so the better chances to get closer to 10 inches is going to be along and north of i-44 but there are going to be some isolated areas that get even more than that approaching a foot so uh, I, I think there's a better chance that these amounts actually go up than going down over the next day or so all right here's your timeline for you rain picking up tomorrow especially by afternoon light to moderate rain but as you can see by the time we go into tomorrow night we switch over to freezing rain and sleet this lasts into wednesday morning it's very light by wednesday morning then we switch over to moderate to heavy snow wednesday night and then back to light snow on Thursday so of course uh, or I'm gonna continue to watch this as we go uh, into the next 24 hours this will change some as we get closer to the vent I'll be able to pinpoint it down so but I again I think amounts have a better chance of going up than down so I'm gonna keep you guys informed we are gonna have some issues on the roadways it's gonna stay cold all the way into the weekend so even when we get the ice and snow it's not going anywhere it's gonna be sticking around for several days so again, this mainly starts tomorrow night and lasts into Thursday. So prepare for that. This is a, a bigger event. We haven't had one of these bigger events since last um, Valentine's Day when we had the seven inch snow. All right guys, have a great evening and a great Tuesday.